Is television getting more scientifically accurate or are we just getting dumber? Hey everyone, I'm Trace from D News, and this is Esther from io9. Hi Esther. Hello. Uh, television audiences freaking love science, right? They do. Okay, so back in 2000, the New York Times published a piece about how science fiction TV wasn't that big a deal. So it said the post-war living room up into the 90s didn't really have a lot of science fiction. Mm -hmm. And it seems like, to me at least, that we have a lot more now. Oh it's yeah. It's like everywhere. Well, not just science fiction, but you know, science we have. Breaking Bad, and we yeah, have... chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> Big Bang Theory for physics. Physics. Bones. Bones. Grey's Anatomy. CSI. CSI. CSI as well. That's true. What, so what do you think, Esther? Do you think science is better on television now? Is it getting better? I think the attitude towards science is better. I think on television, we like people who know stuff. Okay. And in, like, movies, we, we still have this idea of, like, you gotta have heart, and those eggheads don't know anything. They, you just gotta try. And on TV, you don't want people to try. You want people who can like perform surgery on you well, mm. and uh, accurately uh, track down your criminals, and uh, cook really good mess. You I want guess. an actual expert. Right, it does seem like that we've got more science experts going toward television now as well. Like. Breaking Bad did have a science consultant, like chemistry consultant, to make sure that they were doing things correctly. And then you were saying something, the Sopranos? The Sopranos writers would call a doctor and ask them to, you know, prescribe drugs for Tony Soprano. <laughs> like, I don't know, he's getting more depressed. What should we give him? Should we up his meds or, or more dosages? Or, or, well, what side effects would that give him? Would it be hallucinations? Because we love writing hallucinations. He had you some know? good hallucinations. He did. And CSI has brought a lot of, of new things to, to the medical community and the forensics community in terms of public knowledge of how these things work. Although there's been some, you know, argument that that could be bad too. Well, I mean, if even our criminals are getting smarter, doesn't that say something good about society? That's a good point. You need to be smart to make it even as a criminal these days. <laughs> Thanks, CSI. <laughs> no easy rides. <laughs> However, like some of the medical shows do get a little crazy, kind of take advantage of the public's lack of science knowledge. There is some of that in medical shows, but I think the worst um, examples of science you get on TV are the, the technical shows, because mm. computers have sort of become the, the wizards. Like, mm -hmm. we have a plot hole, we used to just you know, give it to the computer person, they can do anything. Enhance. Yes. Enhance. I can hack into the Pentagon on my phone, sure. Sure, why not, right? Computers are magic. It doesn't have flash, but I can do anything else. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> so what do you guys think of this? Do you, do you think that we could, you know, maybe get better at science on television, or are we already doing pretty well? Let us know down below in the comments, and make sure you click subscribe, because, you know, well, science. And if you want to read more of Esther's stuff, you can visit io9.com. Thanks a lot for coming, Esther. Thank you. Cool. See ya.